off my splitter, cracking on, making a start at least on uh, SE's Leku conversion from a bill hook. So first thing I've got to do is get the handle off. Let's get So what I've done is I've got it mounted in blocks in the vise so I don't scratch or damage the blade. I'm just taking enough depth, cutting enough down into the handle without quite ruining the teeth of this even knackered saw on the tang that's going through. So I'm trying to stop just before I would hit the metal. So about there. Here, with the blade there, I'm going to set it right down deep. I will cut myself. I want to cut yourself. There's a whoop. Quite a deep next time. There we go. In some form of pry bar. Sweetly ironic if I use my billet conversion to liberate the handle from this one. Get in there. There's the metal. I haven't quite dinked this against the ferrule yet. The ferrule being that collar there. It stops the wood from splitting. So keep chopping away at this. Catch you in a minute. No guest appearance, shall we? Oh no, just don't get an easy time. Who else can get in on this game here? <laughs> play game of guess the blade! Listen. Can only be one. Ooh. Sweet. While I have a play, catch you later. Get off, get off. This is why I love cheap ass blades. Shoot at the hammer. So there's the ferrule. Now come off. Apologize for the light because it's awful in here. So there's the ferrule, loose. And what I've got to do is get the the end off and then 
should be quite happily able to reprofile this corner here. So, cut that off. I'll see you in a minute. That's a new one. Ten discs, and they come in a tin. So that's now shut. Put up there. Cutting disc. It's there. And the collar goes down to support the disc. It's not sat in a well like a grinder disc. It's a cutting disc. You want it flat on the bottom like that. Press the lock button in. Crunk that up tight. Spanner. Cutter. Mascus. Where does put me mask? There it is. Leave for a short task. Mask. Should be right. So, that's now cut off, and the ferrule should come away. Now, whether I'll be able to use that for anything else, I don't know, so I'll just pop it up in a little tub up there. So, now what I need to do is because we're going for liquid, back to there. That's going. Hmm, that should be fun. I'll try the sideways cuts first. I'm ventured. I'm going. Cut. I'll put a damp rag on it so I don't mess up the heat treat. That way. Yep. Obviously, because it's a circle, from this side, the disc could actually advance as far as my line. He's not cut all the way through to the back because he's cutting like this. So I'll move backwards and forwards, trying to cut the middle out. But I've got to appreciate from here, okay, I've got to the line, I don't know I haven't gone too far. So the same. Even though the temptation is to take the mask up to see better, redo the line. Because nothing's worth the risk. So it takes a few moments longer. Oh well. Take it. I'll do it again.
that one, I've done the other side, tied it all up. section in there using a file, maybe if it's soft enough, if not, or you can use a grind wheel or something on that, that give it ease of sharpening. Cool. Okay, now the next job. There's awful light in there. Oh, God, it's awful. Cutting that out. In there, like that. Like cloth, ready to go. Cutting this. Let's go for it. water with electrics but when she went over there did it cool like that put that back in wiped my hand back to the machine back yeah. better that than upset the blade I think so check in and there's no rainbow colours on it so I kept it cool enough so what we've got to do now is finish off the profiling when I get my new sander because that's gonna take hours doing it that thick so I'm going to get the shape back. I've just done a quick clip off at the end of there. So that's going to sweep down. Something like that. I'll put it on my new grinder. And then what I need to do.
to make this tip effective for tasks other than chopping, I want to remove material. Well, that's quite good. Remove material down over side like this because you want it to be able to do some form of piercing tasks. So where I've just drawn those blue lines, you should just be able to pick them up. I'm going to put a distal taper on it. And that way, it's not a one-trick pony. It can do lots of different things and still be strong enough to take a baton. And once I've done that, I'll think about doing the guard and the pommel end. Okay, thanks for joining me again. Let's go for Mrs. Blade.